With an FCTV with Adam Hinterwood after a 3 0 win over Haven and Waterlooville. Adam, you've got to be happy with that one. No, yeah, I thought it was a really good performance. Um, it took us a while to get going, we made a, a slight tweak um, after 20 minutes, and it seemed to help us. And, um, you know, full credit to the players, they've gone and, um, you know, executed uh, what, we, what we've asked, and it's been a great performance. And, you know, I'm just I'm really pleased with them. There's, Probably 14, 15 of them turned up for training session last night. We're just trying to get an extra one in to prepare properly for this game, um, and I'm glad that you know that that kind of work and the effort they've put in to come down and, and be here for an extra night uh, has paid off for them. You mentioned that tweak on 20 minutes or so. Of, I think it was Ollie that went down injured, and you gathered all other players in. It seemed from that point onwards they kicked on. Is it, what what was it that you changed at that time? No, yeah, just a, a bit of luck that Ollie sort of felt his calf a little bit at that sort of stage and um, yeah we managed to get some good info onto the players um, you know, without giving all our secrets away we just asked the fullbacks to come in um, we pushed one of our midfielders a little bit higher and the wide players just to drop down a little bit um, just to, to, to move them around a little bit really and try and get that extra player in the middle of the park and you know like I say I think it, it seemed to work for us but you know it's all very well in hindsight you can, you can say that's what you want it to look like but you know, ultimately the players got going to deliver that and they delivered it really well I thought and um, you know, we created some really good opportunities and you know, on another day we could have um, maybe come in at half time with a bit more of a comfortable lead um, but yeah, uh, you know, all in all it's a, it's a really good performance like I say, Steve's going to get them get them going he's going to bring his players in and they're going to be a real tough team to play um, so I think we've played them at a good time as well um, you know, I, would like to play against them in, in three weeks' time when Steve gets his work done. Um, so, yeah, it's good, good, good time to play, but really good performance from us as well. Just want to touch on uh, Jordan Adeyemi as well. Made his first start today. Thought he was really good. Showed his uh, raw pace as well down that right flank. Just a few comments on him. No, yeah, um, he's obviously cup tied for the weekend, um, but he trained really well last night and just you know had a bit of a. Uh, Hunch wanted to, to start him really, started up top and then we moved him out wide right. I think he looks a bit more comfortable when he's out wide right and Ollie down the middle looks probably back to his best. Um, some good runs and you know probably disappointed he hasn't come away with another match ball but um, you know it was a really, really good really good performance. Um, wanted to freshen up the, the forward line because um, the lads got through a lot of work and you know Greg's just battling back for, uh, from fitness. Um, you know, one Luke we got as well to, to come back in there and thought he done well when he come on as well. So and obviously, you know, Jesse's ball for cash and the touch and the finish is an unbelievable goal. Uh, you know, good watch that one over and over again and um, just hoping now that some of these players just uh, find a little bit of confidence because I think there's a glimpse of what they can do when they're confident and they're they're really focused and um, you know it's it's we're speaking about the forward line again, but you know, I thought the back line, Kane, Joel, um, Joe Rye, Rocco, Joe Felix, were, were really, really superb today, um, really dominated the, the area. Yeah, that's where I was going to go to next. I mean, Kane Wills, an individual that's playing out of position at the moment, but what a job he's doing in there for you. No, yeah, like he sort of rolls into his natural position um, from that, that position, and like Joe Felix, we play seven mid as well, so you know that they can both do it and they're comfortable handling the ball in that, that central, central area. Um, he seems to be really enjoying it. Um, you know, he's got a new lease of life and, um, you know, he says he enjoys playing playing there. A lot of his passes are inside, which helps him with his right foot. And, you know, he's defended excellently. Um, you know, and arguably been one of the first names on the team sheet of late. Uh, you know, we brought Liam Vincent back. So we've got some cover and a left-footed player. Um, on that side, but you know when, when Kane's playing as well as what he is, it's, it's hard to, to um, dispatch him on the team. And looking ahead now, we've got a, a really busy run in November. I think it's something like eight or nine games this month, Saturday, Tuesday, basically non-stop now. Western Super Mare to come. How are you looking ahead of that one? Confident that the side are going to push on from tonight? Yeah, yeah hope, hoping so. Um, hoping that you can you know build on on today's tonight's performance and, and take that into Saturday. But you know human nature and football it never transpires that way uh, Western we, we watched them last week um, you know, a really good side they've got some good firepower up top uh, Ruben Reed's a real handful um, when he gets going so you know the, the team that you've got to um, 
really sort of uh, you know do your due diligence on and make sure you're you're at it going down there. It's a long journey. We've got some long journeys now coming um, Saturday, the next few three Saturdays I think all down sort of West Country Way. We're probably gonna end up having a bit of a twang in our in our accent. We're down there so much, but um, you know it's it's it's. Like I say, it's when they play like they did tonight, uh, you can't wait for the next game to come along and we're just hoping that we can we can take uh, that form from tonight into Saturday.